my name is Tanya Lozano. I'm an artist and my style I paint is abstract expressionism. Today I'll be showing you a few techniques I use to create clouds and waves without a paintbrush. I have several methods I use from very simple to very complicated. But today I'll be showing the very simple techniques by using a sponge, a palette knife, and also a spatula. Okay, I will be using the 8x10 and 11x14 Blick Canvas Cotton Duck the Utrecht Artist Acrylics in Cobalt Blue, Unbleached Titanium, Titanium White, Brilliant Blue, and Raw Umber. And then we have the RGM Blick Spatula and also the knife and the Delta Mist Spray. The sponges that I've already cut up into small pieces and some cotton balls and also disposable gloves. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to make waves. Um, large, very abstract waves. Very, very simple. Taking the cobalt blue and I'm just going to put it right here in a line. And you would be doing this over your ocean when you're adding the waves. You'll be doing it on top. But it's easy for you to see when I do it this way. So take your um, spatula and you're just going to create like a wave up on top here. And there you are for the large ones. And for the smaller ones, I'm going to mix uh, the Brilliant Blue over here with some Cobalt Blue. It makes a really pretty color. Like 50-50. And then I'll mix it right here. I like the color when it's a really pretty blue. And on this one, you can make smaller waves. So I'll just put some here and you just do the same kind of movement and follow it through. And also what's nice about this little um, knife is that you can really get little details up here, which I like. You kind of press on top and you can add some dimension when you do it like this. It's a really good tool. It mixes and it makes little waves. I really like it. There you go. That's going to how you make some waves. Super easy, very abstract. What I'm going to be showing you right now are some white wash to the waves. And I made some sand and I used raw umber and titanium white. Let it dry. And above this, of course, would be your the ocean. But I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, white wash onto the sand. And I'm using titanium white. And I'll put a little bit here. On the, and I love this sponge. It's great for it. It gives a texture and um, looks really cool. So anyway, just kind of tap it right here. And then give it a look where you would like it to go, the sand. White wash, I'm sorry, on top of the sand. And also, you can use even cotton balls. The hairs don't seem to stick either, so when you get it a little wet, it will give the same kind of effect. Let me add a little more. It comes out a little thicker maybe, but Still has little markings, which I like. And there you go. That's how you make some whitewash on the sand. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you the clouds and or the cumulus clouds, the little puffy ones. This is a very simple technique. And what we'll be using is I've already painted the background of uh, uh, the sky with I use titanium white and also some cobalt blue. So what I'm going to do is use a titanium right here, and I just like to kind of put it where I want to maybe do a cloud. I'm just going to do two simple ones. And then I add a little bit of unbleached titanium, just a hint, also. And then what I'll do is I'll take my sponge, 
And I'll just kind of circle in like clouds do, kind of puffy clouds, the cumulus type, and give it a little fill. Okay, and then what I will do is I'll take a little bit of uh, water and just mist on it. Very small amount. Then I'll take my um, spatula and I'm just going to glide right over it. And what you will do is keep repeating the same steps with the water and the spatula until you get your desired look you're looking for. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you another cloud. Um, this is the stratus clouds. It's only one step. Extremely simple and very abstract looking and really gives a strong look. Um, I've already painted the background here of the sky with brilliant blue, which is a really pretty blue. And I really like it. it's very versatile. You add a little bit of white, it changes it completely. And even mix it with cobalt blue, gives a beautiful ocean color. Anyway, so let's get back to the titanium white. And what I'm going to do is apply a little bit straight across. Just keep dragging it. And then I'm going to take the spatula and firmly just press it down and glide it across. And then I will do it one more time the opposite way. And there you go. You got a stratus cloud. It gives a, a different texture. And also I like that it's very strong and very simple.